Summer is coming to an end, but there is still time to let loose your wild side. Get out into the wilderness and chase some adventure. What better way to do that than to rappel down a waterfall? All right, let's do this. I headed out to the Delaware Water Gap to meet up with Northeast Mountain Guiding. They're a mountaineering guiding group to experience some of the wilder things that nature has to offer. I met up with their founder, Joseph Volpis, right before I headed out to find the waterfall. We're a mountain guiding outfit, so we take people rock climbing, backpacking, kayaking. Um, we do wilderness survival courses, waterfall rappelling, canyoneering, wide range of activities. Then I was off to the trailhead to get started and go find this waterfall. After walking about 20 minutes into the woods, there she was, Flatford Falls. So it's a 65 foot waterfall. It used to be an old quarry, the creek that's there. So you'll see some old mining rails along the way out there. Um, and what you're going to experience is just an awesome time. That's all I can say about it. So it was time for me to learn the ropes, literally. I got my safety gear on and I made my way to the top of the waterfall, looked over the edge, and then I quickly turned around for a moment because <laughs> 65 feet, come on, you guys. The experience was exhilarating and terrifying all at the same time. And I've got to tell you that moment that you let the rope take your weight and you lean over and you have to trust that that rope has you and you're not going to fall to your death. Whew. But I've got to say that the guys, they had everything under control and they were coaching me the entire way down. Joseph Savioni, who was one of my guides on this trip, he's been doing this for several years, and he says he sees about 3,000 people a year do this. Most of them are bucket listers, you know, just coming out, and it's fortunate we have, you know, a couple major cities here within a few hours, so they just, they come out to notch off a bucket list item, so. Talking about adventure ideas, I think Sergio has done this, and I think your waterfall is maybe a little bit higher, Sergio? Actually, I did it twice. The first time was just a little over 200 feet. Whoa! And the second time was actually 418 feet right off of a building down Center City, so. Can I ask you why a waterfall instead of just simply rocks? What's the added value or the sights of having a waterfall it's while actually, you're doing it? Well, it's, it's a lot of fun, but it's also a little bit trickier than just the regular canyoneering it's because it's slippery. And yeah. that was one of the things that was a big deal when we were going, when I was going down, was there was a few times that I hit like moss. And I would go, and really, you know, like these guides make sure that every step of the way they're watching you. Woohoo! Woohoo! I'm heading up the hill for round two. Let's do this. 